Okay, so I just wanted to jump on here real quick and uh, make a video about the graph. A couple of you uh, had questions about um, sketching a coordinate plane on a graph paper. That's problem 27 of um, problem set uh, 74. But let's see here. We won't have to do this uh, till tomorrow, but I'm going to hop on here and um, uh, go ahead and explain that right now. So just your basic setup. You just want to go in here, kind of go into the middle of the page and just um, draw a line out. Okay. And this horizontal line is going to be your X uh, axis. Okay. So I'm going to label it X. And I'm going to try to go right in here in the middle. I'm going to draw a vertical line. And I'm following the blue lines here, and that's going to be important in a minute, and you'll see why. And I'm going to label that line as my Y axis, okay? Uh, we went over this uh, yesterday, but um, we can go over it again. Now, my negative numbers on my X axis are going to go this way, so I'm going to label the X as a negative there. And then this is going to be my positive number, so I'm just going to put a little plus sign here to remind me. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's there. The bottom one, the bottom Y, is going to be uh, negative numbers. And then the top one here is going to represent my positive numbers, okay? So for problem 27, um, we need to draw a rectangle with the vertices located at uh, positive 3, positive 1 for the first uh, one. And then the next one is going to be um, positive three, negative one. So let's start with the first one. Okay. So each line is going to represent a number here and you can, you can label them later, but each line here going this way, is going to represent a number. Okay. In this case, because it's going towards, um, the left, these represent negative numbers. Okay. So our first one, three, one, because it's a positive, it's going to go to the right. So we're going to move three places to the right. And then also because it's a positive, it's going to move one place up. So three, one would be represented like that. So it's three over towards the X and then one up towards the positive Y. Okay. And that's how, and we'd label this three, one. And then we'll go to our next one. Uh, in the problem, it's a positive three, negative one. So again, we're gonna go to the right, one, two, three. But instead of going up, we're gonna go down one because it's going negative. So I put my, my point here and then I label it three, negative one. Okay, our next one is negative one, one. So I'm gonna to go to my X line, but if instead of going to the right, I'm gonna to go to the left. So I go, uh, I go over once, okay? And so that represents my negative one in the X axis. And then I go up one because it's a positive one. And just so you know where I'm getting all that information, I'm sure if you can see it, that's uh, all, your, all your points I graphed right there in problem 27, okay? So I'll go ahead and label this one. That's negative one, positive one, okay? So I put my point, and then our final one is negative one, negative one. So again, I go to the left, okay, because it's negative, and then I go down also because it's negative. And, and I've just graphed all the points. So now we're gonna connect them. And you could use a ruler or you could just draw a really straight line, but I wanna keep it neat, so drawing, I'm gonna draw a segment connecting each point, okay, here we go, and that's how you graph the rectangle, and then you can go ahead and answer um, questions 28, 29, and 30, and later on I'll make a video uh, about those problems as well.